Now moving on to the fifth question. In figure 7.51, PR is greater than PQ and PS bisects angle PQPR. Prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. Now moving on to the solution. Let us note down the given information that is PR is greater than PQ and PS bisects angle QPR. So as PS bisects angle QPR, we can say that angle QPS is equal to angle SPR. Now we note down the given information and let us note down what we are required to prove. He asked us to prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. Now moving on to the procedure. By utilizing the given relation that PR is greater than PQ and by applying the concept that angle opposite to the smallest side will be smaller and angle opposite to the greatest side will be greater, we can get a relation between angle Q and angle R and thereby considering the two triangles, triangle PSQ and PSR and by establishing the relations between angles, we can prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. So now let us consider triangle PQS and triangle PSR. In these triangles, sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees in a triangle we know. So let us write angle SQP plus angle PSQ plus angle QPS is equal to 180 degrees. Let, is, let this be as our first equation. And in triangle PSR, let us write the sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees. They, thereby we get angle SPR plus angle PSR plus angle PRS is equal to 180 degrees. Let this be as our equation 2. Now as on the right hand side of both the equations we have 180 degrees as common we can equate the left hand side which is nothing but angle SQP plus angle PSQ plus angle QPS is equal to angle SPR plus angle PSR plus angle PRS and he has given that angle QPS is equal to angle SPR so on left hand side and right hand side this will be got cancelled which implies angle SQP plus angle PSQ is equal to angle PSR plus angle PRS which implies here let us make the subject as angle PSQ on left hand side which is equal to angle PSR plus angle PRS minus angle SQP. Let us mention separately it in a bracket as we just need the relation between angle PSR and angle PSQ. In the first given we have that PR is greater than PQ. So the angles opposite to the smallest side will be smaller and angles opposite to the largest side will be larger. 
from the given relation that PR is greater than PQ we can say the angle opposite to PR which is nothing but PQS or SQP is greater than the angle opposite to PQ is angle PRS as angle SQP is greater than angle PRS we can write angle PRS minus angle SQP is less than 0 so now considering the equation that angle PSQ is equal to angle PRS plus angle PRS minus angle SQB this whole term will be less than 0 that means angle PSQ is got by subtracting angle PSR from certain value which is greater than 0 therefore angle PSQ will be less than angle PSR which can also be written as angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ finally we got angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ which we are required to prove